in the vast desert of northern Mali, soldiers from a distant land endeavour to maintain a fragile peace. In a country racked with conflict and instability, it's a daunting task. These men and women are part of a United Nations peacekeeping force called MINUSMA, the UN Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali. Established by the UN Security Council in 2013, after separatist rebels attempted to take control of northern Mali, MINUSMA supports political processes and helps stabilize the country. Because what we are focusing the most on is the protection of the civilians. We are maneuvering, trying to ease the tension. We are engaging a lot with the key leaders and so on in order to, to ease down the tension. Close to 12,000 blue helmets are deployed in MINUSMA from more than 50 countries. 90% of them are based in the north. They're facing constant threats from military factions and terrorist groups. Plus, the harsh climate and logistics challenges make their job even more difficult. Since 2013, MINUSMA has suffered more than 100 fatalities. It's one of the most dangerous places to be a peacekeeper at the moment. But even amid the turmoil, MINUSMA supports grassroots projects that promote economic and social development in the communities it serves. One of the projects, run by an association called Gorai Ben, trains people with disabilities to manufacture and sell liquid soap. Launched in 2014 in the Gao region of Mali, the project significantly improved the lives of disabled people there. J'étais dans une vie misérable en réalité. Parce que avant, je dépends de ma famille. Au moment où je n'ai pas commencé à travailler, je dépends de ma famille. Le matin, si je me réveille, il faut que la famille me donne à déjeuner. Sinon, ça n'allait pas. Je fais rien. Je ne fais que sortir, je vais, je cause, je reviens, je suis en chômage, donc je suis à la charge de ma famille. Mais avec ce travail, Dieu merci, je remercie le bon Dieu. Every day, the members of Gorai Ben work hard to produce 90 litres of soap in several colours, proving that their handicap is not an obstacle and contributing to the development of the region just like others. In Kidal, another region of northern Mali, MINUSMA is helping to supply electricity to the communities. Due to the ongoing conflict, schools remain closed and people in the region don't have access even to basic services, including electricity. MINUSMA works with the regional bureau of Kidal and an NGO called AFORD to provide solar power kits to over a thousand households. These kits, which consist of photovoltaic panels and batteries, provide a reliable source of electricity. It is to distribute au niveau des populations nécessiteuses des kits solaires pour leur permettre d'éclairer leur domicile et de permettre aux enfants scolarisés alors d'apprendre leurs leçons vu l'insuffisance sinon les manques même d'électricité au niveau de Kidal. One of the beneficiaries is Aicha, a widow with teenage children. Electricity from the solar kit enables her to meet the needs of her family. Des choses ou bien le fond des calculs sur ça. Mais la fin de l'école maintenant. Little by little, the people of Mali are finding light and hope in the midst of uncertainties and insecurities. This report was produced by Minusma and Hisei Kawamori for the United Nations.